<laughs> George Mason, he must be called Red. He might be called Red. No. But George Mason versus the people of Texas. See, he's, now he's speaking to one judge, but the court system speaks in the plural that we represent all of the people. So it's we, you against us. So when God says we, he's saying to us that everything that he uses to bring forth his plan, he uses it. So he uses the angels, he uses the messengers, he uses right-minded people, good people. And he includes them in his plan as we. Only though God is the only one who's responsible for bringing it forth, that tells us that God is not selfish, so we should be selfish. He's saying we, that I'm sharing my uh, plan or what I'm bringing forth with everything that I use, the air, the dust, the metal, whatever you want to use is, is included in the we. But God is the only speaker, but he's telling us that he is not a selfish God and that he wants us to be plural in our thinking as opposed to being I, 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 I. I did, I did, I did. When God says we, then we should be saying we do this. We are part of this gathering here tonight. We are all of us. Yeah. Yeah. This is a question for all of you. Please comment on the problem fundamentalism in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam presents for tolerance and understanding. <laughs> Well, I think we have a, a week. If you have an extra week, we can do it. Uh, at least for me, I think it's fair to say that I believe we have fundamentalist approach in every uh, area. We have fundamentalists in Judaism and other traditions. To be a fundamentalist means to take things literally. And then when you take things literally, you run the risk of reading them.